Paul is with me now, live from the Hill. And Senator, good morning to you. F fresh off good your morning. magazine spread in Vogue. Uh, very, very well done. Congratulations. That's not easy to do, you know, from Western Kentucky. Uh, listen, uh, what your Republican colleagues are saying is that you guys are waving the white flag already and that Republicans in the center are just going to cave in. What do you say to well, that? Well, that would not be me. I'm not planning on voting for any funding for Obamacare. I think I'm also not planning on voting for any funding that breaks the sequester. We really have to do something about this spending problem, this debt problem. But I'm not going to vote to fund Obamacare. I think it's a disaster for the country. All right. Another Republican says we expect them to stand and filibuster like Rand Paul. That's you. Is that going to happen? I don't know, but I better look for my better shoes. Last time my feet hurt for two weeks. But uh, they have to realize that a filibuster, my filibuster delayed things for 13 hours but didn't stop things. So Obamacare can only be stopped if 41 Republicans got together and said, we're going we're gonna to have things come to a standstill and we're going to say to the president, you don't get 100 percent of what you want. See, the president has it exactly backwards. He, th he says, oh, Republicans want 100 percent. No, he's getting 100 percent of what he wants. And what we want him to understand is that there are many Republicans, Democrats and independents in this country who are worried about Obamacare. And we want him to dial it back and we want him to compromise and we want to make this bill less bad if possible. Uh, if Obamacare is subject one, government shutdown is subject 1A. Back to Speaker Boehner on that. There should be no conversation about shutting the government down. That's not the goal here. Our goal here is to cut spending and to protect the American people uh, from Obamacare. It's as simple as that. There's no interest in our part in shutting the government down. What about the government shutdown aspect of that? Will that happen? You know, I would agree completely with the speaker. I have no intention of shutting the government down. I think shutting the government down is a bad idea. But I also think that Republicans should use our leverage. I mean, almost 50 percent of the people voted for Republicans. In my state, 61 percent of the people voted for Governor Romney. They want us to stand up against big government, against debt, and against this overreach of Obamacare. And they want Obama to dial it back. They want President Obama to compromise. This is about a president who wants 100 percent of Obamacare, or he's going to shut the government down. I don't want to shut the government down, but I also don't want to shove down the throats of Americans an awful piece of legislation that's going to cause unemployment, higher insurance costs, and is going to cause some part-time workers to lose their hours. Harry, so I think this is a bad bill. Harry Reid, the president, saying Republicans would bear the brunt of the blame for a shutdown if it goes that way. Uh, do you agree with that? You know, I think that uh, that's what they say. That's an argument. But the argument is, is that we are voting to fund government minus a certain small amount for Obamacare. They're the ones wanting to shut the government down. In fact, if you go back through all the clips in the last two months and you, and you Google shut down and politicians, it's all Democrats. It's all Democrats saying that somebody's going to shut down the government. We're not in favor of shutting the government down. We're in favor of funding all of government minus Obamacare. Okay. Uh, we're going to watch the Obamacare, that issue, as it moves its way through both houses. Uh, they're both chambers, I should say. We're also going to watch this government shutdown because the calendar is quite clear. Uh, you were pushing just yesterday uh, your support for mandatory minimums, or to work against that, rather, saying it's bad law. Now, now you're one of the only Republicans coming out on this, joining a lot of Democrats. Why have you positioned yourself that way? You know, I think kids make mistakes with youthful possession, sale, involvement with drugs, and I think their life shouldn't be ruined for the rest of their lives. Even the president has admitted to using drugs when he was a kid, and I would have hated to have seen his. I don't agree with him on much of anything, but I would have hated to have seen his life ruined by this. I, I came up with three examples yesterday that I mentioned. One young man, 24 years old, sold marijuana, and he was caught, and he was caught three times, so he wasn't doing the right thing, but 55 years in jail. You can kill somebody in Kentucky and be out on parole in 12 years, but if you use marijuana, go to jail for 55 years. That's crazy. We ought to stop it. It's ruining these young kids' lives, and the drug laws have been disproportionately used to put young black men in jail, and I think it's wrong. Wow. Senator, thank you for your time. You're running neck and neck with Chris Christie in New Hampshire, by the way. 
I, I think you were aware of that, though. Rand Paul, we will speak again, okay? All the right. Republican Kentucky Senator there.